got that work until I'm 16 in the dirt. Nigga, bro. I got that work what until I'm gone. Put my name up yeah. on the shirt. I got that work. Hey, my people stay like Nino. You and know they got that work. Work. All up back from Ceno, so they stay out on that curb. Curb. Not trying to send no PK killing this show. You ain't hurt. What? Feel like I'm Carlito when they talking moving birds. Swerve. Go. Got that perfect pack. Yes. What it is. What it is. It's the Red Zone. We back at it once again. What's going on? Uh, coming live to you from the den. It's your boy Tuck and Roll. You know what it is. It's your boy Aaron Boston George, man. Back at it, Red Zone. We've been relaxing, maxing, just trying to get this money, man. That's all we can do. What you got up this weekend, bro? Man, uh, oh, yeah, my boy Coins Figaro, man. We got the show coming up tomorrow night, man, N-O-P-K. It's going to be in the down. building, Coins Fig- Figaro and Damo the Kid, man. It's going you know, down. Those my bros, man. We're going to shut it down. Y'all need to come out. Twisted Root, Twisted Root Gallery in the Paseo District. Uh, doors open up at 9. Tickets are $10 at the door, general admission. $20 for VIP. Um, yeah, I had to pay too, so, you know. Yeah, everybody pays, <laughs> yeah, Everybody got to pay, free man. Beat, we, man. Gotta, we gotta eat, man. It's gonna be real Hollywood, man. We're gonna get it in. Y'all need to come out, you know, party with us, whatever, and then move on from there. And um, Definitely. As we see here, man, you know, college football season just kicked off, you know. Get some real football on TV. Man, about time. Man. It's been a long wait, dude. Been a long time coming, man. Been a man. long time. First things first, man. Johnny Manziel, go. Uh, as far as that suspension goes, what is he <laughs> suspended? Thirty minutes, a half a game, really? Like seriously? Like I mean, if y'all had no evidence on the guy, then just let it go. <laughs> Lig it. <laughs> I mean, but he's going to be suspended two whole quarters. I think that'll teach him one hell of a lesson, man. I don't think it's going to teach him anything. <laughs> <laughs> Two quarters? Are you kidding me, dude? It's pointless, man. It's He'll like, probably still win Heisman. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't find anything on him, you can't suspend the man. So they just try to – I don't know if they're trying to avoid the Manziel because, you know, Manziel got that money, man. So Man, you know he got money, man. SEC, man. It's just – yeah, SEC. <laughs> Come on, That's exactly what it is. But um, I'm going to start out, man. As far as in-state team, we're talking OU, OSU. I think – Go Pokes. I don't care for either one, to be honest. You know, <laughs> posts, neutral, Sooners, man. it don't matter. You know, horns up, Longhorns. We know what it is over here. I don't, I don't know what happened to this guy. <laughs> look, look, o, OU fans and OSU fans. Look, I'm neutral, okay? I'm more Stillwater than Norman, I ain't going to lie. But uh, this Texas stuff, man. Texas. Off with his head, man. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that, man. Honestly, bro, I got OU winning. I, I think OU is going to do pretty good this year. You think so? Honestly, I do. I think they're going to do pretty good. I think they're going to lose two games. I say I say they'll lose two games at the most. They're going to lose to Texas, of course. They're not going to lose to Texas, lose, They're going to lose to Texas. We're, we're tired of getting beat. Mac Brown's on the hot seat. Bob Stoops has made it his destiny. He don't care about winning national championships. He just want to <laughs> no, beat Texas. He just want to beat Texas. It's do or die for Mac Brown. So I think, I think they're going to lose that game to OU. I mean, they're going to lose that game to Texas. And I can see them just losing another one. Just, they're going to lose better. No, nah, they're not. They'll beat OSU. They're always better than OSU. Um, I think this year OSU might get it done. Why? Why do you think that? Well, just change of the seasons. <laughs> <laughs> man, I don't know. They probably not gonna beat OU, man. I put my hope in OSU every year, man. I think OS, OSU hasn't been good since they had Black Men and Weeden, and they had that one good season where they lost Ohio Iowa State. They should have went all the way that yeah, year. Yeah, we were like number three, man. I thought they, I thought they would have made it. And all OSU fans in Oklahoma just think they're the greatest thing ever. Like, come on, man. They've been trash for a while. But OSU will probably lose four games. Um, they're not going to be good at all. That's just the way I see it. Right. I think, man, OSU will probably lose. I say, I say one game. I looked at their schedule, man. Actually, they don't have that tough of a schedule. And the only out of conference game they have. Uh, I believe it's against, like, Iowa or something. So, they don't even have a tough game. I say the only tough games would be OU and Texas. They're going to lose both of those. I don't know, man. It's kind of toss-up, man. I might have to get with you about four games in. I don't, I don't really want to make any picks on the o, uh, OSU-Texas game. I mean, OSU-OU game, but I think they may beat Texas. I don't think Texas is going to be any good, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, I don't think it's going to be any good. I don't think Mac Brown, you know, he's, he, he's declining, man. It's about time for him to try. Well, you know, the college this, team or maybe the NFL, you know. If Mac Brown does not have a winning season this year, I'm talking about 10-plus wins, he's going to get fired. He's out of there. Probably so. I agree. But, yeah, man, that's the college football season, man. You know, 
we're gonna we're gonna touch on it a little bit. We're not gonna do too much in that area, but uh, let's get to the real. Oh yeah, AFC North. Dun dun. What we got? We got Bears. Bengals. No, oh no, you're right. Bengals. Browns. Steelers. Steelers. Steelers on the decline. Defending Super Bowl champs. Baltimore Ravens. Ravens. I'm going to start out with the Browns, man. I've seen them a little bit in preseason. I've seen what they're doing and mixing okay. it up. Brandon Whedon is is doing some things, man. I like Brandon Whedon. He can get the ball down the field, and they got Trent Richardson running the football. Um, as far as defense goes, I don't I don't think they, they – they're the Browns. I mean, you're not going to get too much out of the Browns. You're going to get – Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, don't say don't sell my boy Trent Richardson too short, man. I think I think he'll have a good season. Trent there. Richardson will do it. He'll do his. They're thing. getting it together on offense, man. I mean, if if you dig deep, if they can stretch the field, then then I can see them possibly winning seven. But I mean, in the AFC North, man, that's a, that's a, that's a pound conference. I mean, a lot of those teams thrive off running the football and good deep. This is true. You know what I mean? This so I mean, if we want to just skim over last year's uh, defensive stats for the Cleveland, they were ninth in the league in uh, points allowed. It's not bad. Uh, 19th in uh, total yards. That's bad. Man, that's horrible. <laughs> uh, passing yards, uh, they were 25th, but they were 12th against the rush. Man, they were garbage, by the hey, line. Man. How many, where did they go? They was like, they were 6 and 10 or something okay, like yeah, that. Okay, yeah, I'm saying that because I was born in Cleveland. Whatever. All right. <laughs> at, at best, I see them going 7 and 9, to be honest, in that division. Um, I mean, as for the Bengals, I got the Bengals winning the division. Um, AJ Green is a man out there. You know, you got the guy, the redhead, tossing him the, the rock. Uh, ben Jarvis Green Ellis, I think he's back there running the ball. So they're gonna they got they're gonna he's have a, a balanced attack. Jermaine Gresham is the key to this though, because AJ Green is gonna stretch the field, but Jermaine Gresham has to be solid and moving those chains. Um, the D line is Dunlap. They got Dunlap on the ends, and then they got that uh, the one linebacker. I, I love him, man. He's I think he's a Samoan guy. He flies around the field. He doesn't play any games. Secondary, they still got Pac-Man Jones back there. The, the Pac-Man. I like Pac-Man. He, he's physical. He plays the game hard. The Bengals are going to be solid. Like I said, I see the Bengals winning the division easily just due to the fact of the matter that the Ravens do not have the power that they have. Um, the Steelers. The Steelers. Shout out to my boy T Man. You know, what are they gonna out. do this year, the Steelers man? Steelers are not gonna do nothing, man. The Steelers are on the decline. They've been on the uh, decline the for Steel quite a while curtain now. Is closing, man. The Steel curtain curtain is turning into the shower curtain, man. They're just not getting it done. I mean, Big Ben is gonna do what he does. Of course. He's gonna run around, scramble, do all that. They got rid of Mike Wallace, so they don't have anybody really That's to stretch the field. Smart. I don't know if it was a tr- contract issue or what. It was a dumb issue. <laughs> I mean, why do you get get rid of that guy? Some guy named uh, it's like Javion Bell or something like that back there running the ball. They still got Palomalu. Um, oh yeah, pro bowler. They got rid of Harrison. You know, he was pretty. They it did. was pretty much down low. You got Palomalu up top. You got Harrison. They have a solid offensive line. I will give them that. They got guys that can move the ball as far as you know. Getting getting movement up front. They still got Mike Tomlin, man, who I think is one of the better coaches in the league. Honestly, I Mike think Tomlin my, Mike is, Tomlin's an awesome coach. Man. Yeah, he Definitely. is. He is a good coach. They picked up Felix Jones from Philly. I don't know why they did that. Heath Miller is solid at at the uh, tight end spot. You know, he's been good ever since he came out of Virginia. But um, I don't I don't really see them doing too much, man. Just just because I feel like they're on a the decline. They'll just, make the playoffs. Um, they'll make. Man, if they're not going to make the playoffs, who's going to make it out the AFC North besides the Bengals, bro? Just the Bengals. I think it's only going to be one coming out of there. I don't think I don't think the Steelers are going to make the playoffs this year, man. I, I looked at their last, like, I think it was the last five years. They had, like, two seasons they they were winning. They won 10-plus games. Out of the last five seasons, three seasons, they won 10-plus games. They won the Super Bowl, but I just don't see it happening, man. The Ravens? I'm not going to say much about the Ravens. I'm going to say this, though. If you get rid of everybody on your team that made you good, don't expect to be as good. Exactly. Hey, he still got Torrey Smith. Dude is cold. Torrey Smith is cold. <laughs> He's cold. Torrey He's going to be that guy. I think he waited on this. He had Anquan Bolden last year, so, you know, they had to pay attention in one way. True. You know, you can't. Torrey Smith is going to stretch the field. He's going to do what he do. Ray right. Rice is going to do what he does. Oh, they still got, yeah. We're going to see if. Uh, all about Ray Ray. We'll see if this guy is really the truth, like they say is it, he is this quarterback. I don't believe in him, to be honest. Suggs is going to try to do what he can without Ray Lewis being there, but 
They're not going to do much, man. They're not. They're they're going to probably nine and seven. Nine and seven on the Ravens. Nine and seven on the Ravens. They'll they'll fight to get to the playoffs, but they won't get there. This this dude is drinking before the (laughs) show, man. For real. Hey, tomorrow, like I said, Twisted Roots is going down. Paseo District, Coins Figaro, and Damo. Let's go. Bengals winning the division. (laughs) Man, let me go ahead and break this AFC North down real quick, man. Um, I agree with you on the Bengals. Um, I think that's their time, man. Um, They're like the next thing to blow, if you ask me. Um, They got a lot of young guys, man. Dalton's there. He's young. He's healthy. He's good. A.J. Green, what more can I say? Um, Tuck mentioned Jermaine Gresham. Honestly, I haven't seen a lot out of him, man, to be real. Uh, I watched him back in OU, definitely was a fan. Uh, I just, I'm waiting on him to kind of give me that breakout season that a lot of the tight ends around the league, a lot of the, you know, the dominant ones uh, have had, like Vernon Davis, Rob Gronkowski, uh, Gates, you know, those guys. So I'm, I'm waiting on that out of Gershom. Um, I think he has. Had to, had to throw Gronkowski in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, come on, man. We, <laughs> you already know. Shout out to the Gronk, man. We need you back. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, I think the Bengals will win that division. I see them going, man. I say about eleven and five, man. That that's that's eleven and five. Because right. uh, they'll probably lose to Pittsburgh and Baltimore, even though they play both those teams twice. I think it'll be split. Because um, that's usually those are usually battles. Those are good games to watch. Um, Cleveland, man. Hey, <laughs> to all my relatives out there in the two one six, man. Y'all getting there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get there, man. I think Trent Richardson is going to be a franchise guy. He might as well, you know, suck up his pride and get ready to retire in Cleveland because they ain't letting him go. Yeah, <laughs> he, you know he, what I mean? You're going to get paid, though, bro. Don't worry about it. They're going to pay you. Uh, Trent Richardson, Brandon Wheaton, I think he's another franchise guy. You know, he's probably got about five years left in his career, though. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is he, like 31? <laughs> he's old, man. Oldest rookie ever. Oh, like a ninth-year senior at OSU. <laughs> 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 anyway, man, so, yeah, Cleveland, I think the offense is getting there, man. Um, like I said, uh, on the defensive side, they, they weren't they weren't just horrible except when it came to the pass um, and then total yards. So, I think they're up and coming. I give them nine and seven as well. I think they may win. Oh, they, nine they, they, games? The Browns? Yeah, I think they'll break 500, man. I think they will. I think they will. That's that's, that's my throw it out there prediction for the year, if you, if you guys want to be that way. Uh, Pittsburgh, I never really – I never really liked the Steelers, man. I always just put a sour taste in my mouth. So I really never really had nice things to say. Um, but, for, for, but for professional purposes, uh, Mike Tomlin, man, I think, like I said, I think he's one of the better coaches in the NFL. Um, I think any team would like to have him um, running the team. Big Ben is Big Ben. Uh, they did let go of Mike Wallace. That was stupid. Who are you going to throw the ball to now? Um, I don't really see any strengths at the tight end position. Uh, for Pittsburgh, the defense without Harrison, um, I think that may have been more of a personal thing. You kind of see how the chemistry between them and Harrison was going, man, with all his antics. So I think it was about time for him to part ways anyway with the steel curtain. So Pittsburgh, I do see them making the playoffs, though, unlike, unlike Tuck. I just don't think <laughs> I just don't think Steelers just won't make the playoffs. So I see them doing about, I say 10 and 6. Maybe. 10 and 6. Uh, who we got left? Uh, Ravens, defending champs, released everybody. Uh, Ray Lewis is gone. He's gone, folks. He's gone. He's done. He got away with murder. One <laughs> made it to the Hall of Fame. Won a Super Bowl. Won a Super Bowl. Two Super, Two Super, Bowl. Super Bowls. Hey, he's had he's had a hell of a career. Now he's gone. What are you gonna do, Flacco? Joe I'm not so. Flacco. I'm not so. I'm not so. I think man. Flacco's. Flacco's respect level is cut 50-50. I think half the country hates him, but half the country loves him. Yeah. I'm on the other side. I, just, I don't think he's good enough, man. He hasn't shown me anything really, any poise really. I want to see that two minute, you know, two minutes to go. What's that? Let me see that poise, Flacco. I haven't seen that. I know he can get the ball down the field. We know he can get it across the field, but I see the Ravens, man. I get them 9-7 to too, man. 9-7. I think they'll lose some big games down the stretch. So we got you got the Bengals winning it all in that division. Bengals taking the division, perhaps, perhaps touching the AFC Championship. I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't man. know. There's some boys <laughs> in Houston might got their head out for them. But I don't know, man. Uh, I don't think they're gonna go that far. They'll get to the playoffs. They win the division. But as far as AFC Championship, you don't think so? Nah, it's, it's still Cincinnati. They can't play on the big slide. Yeah. Still, no, they're not ready for that. They had their chance back then when they had Carson Palmer and Ocho and them and To. 
that's when they was the truth when they was really doing things. But um, let's go ahead and just jump right into it, man. NFC North. NFC North, man. Megatron. Megatron. <laughs> we got we got the Lions. AD. Oh, yeah, you got some Packers. Hey, you got Vikings some big names. Let's go. I'm gonna start out, man. I got the Bears first. Jay Cutler. Trash. I like Jay Cutler. <laughs> he, he's not. He, I don't think he's a great quarterback. He I don't think he's a clutch quarterback. I think he's a stat stuffer. Um, he, he's not mentally all there, but other than that, I, I like him. You know, they got Brandon Marshall. I like Brandon Marshall. Matt Forte. He can catch out the backfield, run out the backfield. Oh uh, man, Forte is the truth. The Bears can do a lot of things this year with with the correct. They got the new coach. I think it was it the guy from the CFL, I believe. Yeah, yeah he was. He was from the Arena Football League. So they're going to spread. Like they're going to spread the field out. They're going to spread the ball. They're going to throw the ball a lot. They're going to get a lot of movement on the offense. Um, as far as defense go, man, their defense is pretty stout. Julius Peppers heading the D line. Uh, Lance Brig is an animal at the linebacker position. An animal, dude. I think it's um. It's not. What is this guy's name? He's he's. He's a corner, but he just always is always around the ball. He's either stripping the ball, picking the ball. He's like led the team in turnovers for the last I don't know how many years. I think he's number thirty three. He's a pretty legit though. I can see the Bears honestly going ten and ten and ten and five. I say the Bears go ten and six. I'm sorry, ten and six. Bears ten. And Do they six. win the division? They don't win the division. They'll make the playoffs, but they don't win. The I know division. who you're gonna say. I'm going to tell y'all right now, they're not going to win it. Packers. No. Nope. I got the Packers right now. I'm going to tell you the Packers are not going to have a great season. Packers are not going to be in the playoffs. What? They're not going to be in the playoffs. They won't make the playoffs? They will not make (laughs) playoffs. The Packers won't make the playoffs? The Packers will not make the playoffs. I heard they was going to try some wildcat with Vince Young, man. (laughs) (laughs) They got Vince Young over there backing them up. Okay, you know, he got to get a job somehow. Aaron Rodgers. Where did they? What street corner did they find? <laughs> that fool Vince Young go, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> AJ picked him up on the way to the to the stadium. Like, oh, this Vince Young. Let's give him a ride. <laughs> <laughs> anytime you have Aaron Rodgers on your franchise team or your, or your whatever, anytime you have Aaron Rodgers taking snaps, you're going to win games. The Packers are going to win games. He doesn't have Greg Jennings. He doesn't have Sharper. Not, not Sharper, but um. Old guy, Donald Driver. Jermichael Finley. I don't know if he does he still have Jermichael Finley. Jermichael Finley's still there. He actually, I, I was watching him in the preseason a couple weeks ago. Okay, they got Jermichael. He's they there ready the, to um, go. 87, receiver. Um, Come on, come on. I don't know. I'll come back to it. But I, they got Eddie Lacy, though, from Alabama running the ball. I think he's going to start. I think he's going to do some damage. He'll finally give them a running game. They may, yeah, they may get another dimension to their game. But the thing about the Packers is you have to play defense. It stops after Clay Matthews. I don't know what it what happens after that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much Clay Matthews. I don't know. They who. used to have a good secondary, man. They released everybody. Woodson's gone. Woodson's back in L- in uh, Oakland. So West Side, him. he was the one making all the plays. He left. Cause... Like I said, Packers. I can see them nine and seven. Missing the playoffs. Man, this dude right here is a harsh critic. Minnesota Vikings. They have Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson. Oh, uh, they picked up Adrian Peterson too. And then they handing the ball off to Adrian <laughs> Peterson. <laughs> exactly. So I don't I mean Christian Ponder, I don't think he was he was that all that good in college, let alone the NFL. They don't have anybody really to stretch the field like they had. They had Harvin. Then they had Sidney Rice. They don't both, have those guys. Both are gone. You know, they don't I don't know who they're gonna throw the ball to. They're gonna run a lot of bootlegs, they're gonna give a heavy dose of Adrian Peterson, and they put eight and seven guys in the box. You have a better chance of stopping that running game. I say A D breaks a single season record for most carries. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gonna carry the ball on an average. 41.2 times. <laughs> they finna try to kill my boy, man. For real, man. That's messed up. Man. I would really like to see him break <laughs> Pick that up somebody. Record, though, man. I would really like to see him break that record. Nah, you know he's going to try to, man. Yeah, he's going to do, gonna do yeah, everything he's, possible. He's, he's fun to watch, man. Fun. He's very fun to watch, man. As far as their defense goes, uh, I like Jared Allen, man. I like his little sack dance, you know. Boom, sack. 
rope him up, whatever. But Jared Allen's getting old, man. I don't think he still has that same juice in him. Um, the linebacker position for the Vikings is like a bunch of lunch ladies and, you know, garbage <laughs> men. <laughs> you don't really don't know Trash, who's out there. Man, nobody, dude. Uh, the secondary was burnt toes. What were their, what were their uh, passing defense last year? You, can you, do you got that? Secondary in my, Minnesota was like 28th is what I'm getting. 28th? 28th. 28th against the pass. Out of 32. So, exactly. So I don't see that changing anything. They Utter didn't pick garbage. up anybody. Vikings will probably go 8-8. Eight and eight. No chance of the playoffs. Maybe even 6-10, and 10, to be honest. I don't see them I agree doing with you, much. man. As much as I hate to say it, man. AD might get that record, though. He might get that record. I hope I'm AD. Go get it. Go get it, man. You ain't got, hey, AD, bro. You look. You ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you might as well break the record, bro. Um, Earn the, that jacket. The Detroit bankrupt Lions. Hey, that hurts. That whole, Big Sean say the whole city in, in the depression. Man. If Matt Stafford stays healthy throughout the season, the Lions will win the division. Simply because we can finally agree. They're gonna throw it to Megatron. Everybody knows it. We can and finally catch agree. It. Megatron's gonna catch it. He had over two thousand yards receiving last year. Unheard of. Unheard of. They got Reggie Bush. He's gonna stretch the field on the ground or in the passing game. Also, you seen what he was doing in preseason. And as far as the defense goes, Sue. Early. Um, Nick Fairley. Just stop that. Their front, their front seven is so dangerous, man, and they're physical. That's the thing about them, man. They are physical. Did you see what they did to Brady, man? They was bad. beating this was dude up, man. So hit somebody with the sideline bust. It was, <laughs> it was. How many fines you think you gonna get this year? I say Sue will probably get about seven. Fines. So seven, seven, okay. seven fines, about ten personal fouls. This, he just plays a game. He plays a game. Then you see what kills me. You see this fool after that. You see him on the subway commercial. <laughs> With his mama, you know what I'm talking about. Like, come on, man. Like he ain't just step <laughs> like, on somebody's face. Exactly. Or like, like you that. just didn't need his dude in the mouth or something. Man. That's come pseudo, man. I mean, I love, I love his aggression. I like oh, yeah. the way he plays. Oh, yeah, the game. man. He's grateful. For I don't. I don't think he's a dirty player. I think he's just nah. a very physical player. Nah, nah. I think the, the league is sensitive. But the Lions, I got the Lions going 12 and four. They're going to be a pretty good team this year. Honestly, I do see that, and uh, that's just the way I see it, man. Okay, man, I was going to pick up right there then. Uh, Lions, I agree with you, man, 12-4. and four. Uh, To me, they haven't been that far. I know their record is <laughs> – can't really speak for their record, but, I mean, dude, the team is loaded. When you look at it offensively, Matt Stafford, I think if he just takes the time and settle down, uh, they picked up a couple more pieces on the offensive line, so I think he'll get better protection because the dude has a rocket of an arm, man. And then when you're throwing it to Megatron, I mean, you can just throw it up. So they've got Megatron. Uh, they also got Reggie Bush, uh, which I think adds a whole other dimension, man. They can probably put all kind of running backs in different types of plays. You know, Reggie is a scat back. He's going to go out in the flash, catch the ball, and burn you up the sidelines. Um, he's still got that. He can still do that to you. Defensively, man, that front seven, you can just stop it right there. I mean, they, they really don't even need good corners if those guys are clicking because, I mean, they get pressure on the quarterback. Good luck running the ball on them. Um, I mean, even with those dudes being 300, 300 pounds plus, they're still fast east to west. So it's like, man, they got a created monster in that front seven, man. They're so, going to get it done. I mean, they're going to get it done. So I say, yeah, I, I agree with Tuck, man. I can give you 12 and 4. I'll give you 12 and 4. Uh, they'll probably sweep the division, maybe lose to the pack. I think they'll beat the Bears both games. Uh, I think the Green Bay probably the only team that lose to in that division. So, yeah, I got them taking the division. Uh, the Bears, man, Matt Forte, I'm a huge fan. I'll put him in my top five running backs. Um, they got Brandon Marshall still. So, we'll see what he does. He's still a threat, whether you like it or not. Um, Jay Cutler, eh. <laughs> dude, dude keeps me rattled, man. I don't, I don't know. I mean, he's got the biggest arm I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever seen anybody that can just stand there and throw the ball like 70 yards besides Brett Favre maybe. You know what I mean? So um, kudos for that. Uh, but his decision making, man, and even after that, you got quarterbacks with the mechanics. But that pool of quarterbacks that we know have the com mechanics, but the decision making is horrible. We can go ahead and throw Jay Cutler in there. I just <laughs> crunch time. If crunch time comes. He doesn't make good decisions. Man. I say the one thing I would, the one thing that I would question about Jay Cutler is his toughness, because. I know his playoff games, he was sitting out. Somebody had like a toothache or something like that. <laughs> Weenie. Like, man, you are, come on, man. This is playoffs, hey, man. Hey, got to be tougher, Jake. But uh, Chicago, man, I still see them having a winning record. I give them 10 and 6. Uh, don't think they're going to win the division. The Packers, man, 
you got to run the ball eventually. Eventually, Aaron Rodgers, you're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to run the ball, you know. So, uh, but yeah, Aaron Rodgers, man, pro bowler. We all know he's probably top three, four quarterbacks in the league. He's gonna do his thing, though, for about another four thousand yards. Um, no, they don't have uh, Gray Jennings anymore. Um, I think that takes away a big part of it, honestly, uh, of what they can do. But I'm sure they'll find somebody else to pick up the slack. And like I said, Aaron Rodgers will get the ball to anybody. Uh, all they gotta do is run the route. So uh, with uh, Jermichael Finley. You know, he's still a good tight end. Uh, he's got mad hands. So, I think, you know, I think they'll be good. Packers. That's a Texas product right there. Yes, sir. Horns up, baby. Who, who cares? God, this dude. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Packers, man, I say I give them 11-5 also. I don't, think they'll, I don't think they'll miss the playoffs. You're crazy saying that. Dude. You think the Packers are going to make – who, who's going to play defense? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, this is – Clay this, Matthews. This is <laughs> – it does stop there. I don't. I don't even want to go. Exactly. On I think they'll make the playoffs though. And then uh, who do I leave out? Chicago, Detroit, Green Bay, Vikings. Man, AD, AD. Let's go to break. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it, man. I mean, AFC North, NFC North, man. That's the way we see that going down. It's the red zone, man. We out here, man. It's, like I said, Saturday night, tomorrow night, y'all ain't doing nothing, man. Come out to the Twisted Rules Gallery, Paseo District. Bring your mama. In. No, don't bring your mama. Don't bring your mama. Leave your mama at home. This ain't you want your mama to say. Um, bring your girl at your own risk. Um, <laughs> that's just rude, man. I guess. <laughs> now, that's the truth, though. I mean, you got you to gotta make a business decision when it comes to that. The, the headhunters will be out. They will be out. Lurking. It's going to be a real Hollywood night, man. Coins Figaro and Damo. LIU album dropping that night, so it is the release album, of the man. album, man. It's, yep. it's going down, man. It's, that's the NOPK dot com, man. Log on, check it out. You know, hit me Buy up. something. Hit us up. Instagram Tuck and Roll Seven O. Instagram, you know me, leader of the new school. Um, shout out to the whole click Hollywood click. You know what it is, man. Saturday night, come check us out. Nine p.m. Doors open. $10 general admission, $20 VIP. The VIP gets you the LIU album. Pay the 20 Why not? Save you yourself some money, man. Save yourself some money. Buy the album. Pay VIP. Bring your girl at your own risk. Top three rules of the night. Red zone. And that's what it is. Yeah.